Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. It's been a little while since we played this game, but it is back today because I come bearing some very interesting news that I didn't actually know about and that I think a lot of people who play this game might not necessarily know about. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past before, you know I have a thing for horsepower and speed and I'll be honest, sometimes even undrivable vehicles. All right, that, that grab... Where are we going? Anyways, so I went on the internet with the help of a couple of you guys from our Discord server, and we discovered the most powerful car in this game is not the Koenigsegg Regera. There is an engine that can build like a 1550-ish horsepower. It is super expensive. It is the most expensive engine swap in this game. Why don't we give it a go? Have some fun, see how it is to run away from the cops. This is when I cue me crashing and wrecking and rolling and rolling and rolling. Missed the court. Hopefully I didn't cut to that. So this engine swaps actually on quite a few different cars. However, primarily it is on some big stuff. For example, the Mercedes G-Class. It's in this, the Range Rover SVR and the BMW X6M. I think though for this video, I want to run the Porsche Panamera. So the Porsche Panamera Turbo, I will be honest, isn't exactly a looker. However, it does have one of the coolest rear wings in existence. Look at me and my show off -y wing. Oh, that's awesome. Here's where we get to the absurd absurdly expensive engine swap. A 715 horsepower forged 5 liter V8. We think it is an upgraded Coyote engine with some upgrades that basically Need for Speed tossed in. Technically, it's not the most expensive engine swap because there are things like you can swap the P1 engine into the P1 GTR. Doesn't really count. And it can build a 1,500 horsepower. Currently, it's got 715 horsepower. Now, like I was saying, I don't have all of the Ultimate Plus Edition parts. We're gonna try to unlock some of them today. However, I won't actually be able to get this thing up to 1,500 horsepower, but I will make it go as close as I can. I can only- I say only. Build 1,220 horsepower. Porsche Panamera, I kind of want you to be like a car that can kind of just about do everything. So I want something that can go off-road and on-road if we're gonna be running away from cops. Yo, look at those stats, though. It's a 10.0 for the power. I like it. Anyways, let's make this thing look cool. Maybe give it a nice little wide body or something. Um, okay. That's an engine noise. All right, need for speed. I, I just wanted to see what my tail lights looked like. So I turned the car on. I, I need to go and change my pants. G give me a minute. Okay, what obnoxious exhaust do we want to have for this insane noise? I could do this all day. Give me an off-road race. Where's a good one? One all the way up here? It gets a nice little slide through the corners too. Oh, all right, I'm getting distracted. I'm going the wrong way. Nick, I'm gonna build a nice all-around off-road car. Also, Nick, build Porsche Panamera that slammed. I mean, it also has a rear wing that is wider than the car, but I, I mean, ignore the details. You just have to pay attention to how, okay. How fast did it, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, I forgot about Need for Speed's mega flaw with off-roading. The camera shake is unbearable. Oh, tarmac. Oh, it feels good. I hate the bumpy off-roadness. It's so, why am I racing a golf? I have 1,200 horsepower. I might want to take the off-road upgrades off because I don't know if it's the Porsche Panamera, but it's just like exceptionally bad how bumpy it is off-road. Hey, hey, all right, what up squad? Shall we go and do some high heat level races? I've got two of them on my map here for an ultimate part and an ultimate part. We're gonna need to do a couple of races to get our heat level up, and then we can start our high heat level races. So, providing everything goes well now, this shouldn't take too long at all. All right, Porsche Panamera, let's give it a go. Oh my God, DJ's little MX-5 looks amazing. I love it. Yo, how am I so much slower than everybody? I've got 1,200 horsepower. Uh, that's someone out of it. 
Yeah, remember when I said I was gonna crash into stuff? Hey, heat level one. Yeah, my car's pretty fast in a straight line game. I'm just saying, if the Lambo had this engine swap, or any of the Ferraris, or anything, basically, that could take some corners, it would be unfair. Like, we already know, right? Need for Speed's got a problem with their OP cars. The RSR's just unfair. Yo, if you want a car that's fast, just give them this engine swap, and you'll solve the problem. All right. Well, first race done. It wasn't a great one for the Panamera, but I gotta take it easy. I gotta make sure we can actually get to the high heat. Oh, I'm already level three. Okay, let's go start one. Panamera, high heat level races. Let's see what you got. We're in the middle of the city. This is not where you're gonna be that fast, but you know, it, it should be okay. I think to be fair, if a cop comes after us, I will be the most successful at getting away. Like I'm outrunning the cops on the straights, we're also really quick through the corners because of our NOS and like our upgraded tires. And then if I really, really want to, I could just run it off road. Nope. H how is that fair, game? You can't just spawn a cop literally in front of me. That's not cool. All right, I was going to keep running. Game. What? Come on. All right, I've, I've finally got to use my repair thing properly. First repair, done. Why didn't I get a high heat level part for that? I didn't know you need to finish top three to get high heat level parts. I was just chilling and taking my time. I guess we gotta do another race and I gotta go do the heat level five race now. Oh no. Um, I'm stuck. Please. Anybody. No! No! Oh, you dick! No, I can't! Why? Why? Always! I get stuck under a thing, and I can't drive. There's no way to reset your car in this game. And now I got busted. We, we've got to start this challenge all over again. Give me a minute, and hopefully we'll be in high heat level three. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. People in Twitch chat just realized the glitch. My car is off, but the engine is still idling at 1,100 RPM. We're back in the action. Heat level three. Let go. Oh, great. I'm against a bunch of supercars again. Is that two P1 GTRs? Cops have arrived. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how I lived. I have absolutely no idea. I missed the court. Uh, all right, that time I died. Oh, uh, I'm in last. <laughs> I had the greatest overtake in history. And then insta-bottled it and rolled. And now last. Oh, man, there's not even enough time to catch up. And I've still got cops on me. I need to go take some jumps. Here we go. Now this is finally the real test. Level five cops, Jesus Christ. Running it off road. There's a helicopter. Well, that's a plus for the Panamera. I just drove over a cop. 190 miles an hour, get the NOS on. Let's go Panamera, 220, 230. Yo, it's a quick thing. Oh my God, 230. We're okay, 220 and we're gone. Fantastic. This is when things are gonna get intense. Heat level five race. Okay, here we go. Panamera, we've got Lambos, we've got four GTs. This is the ultimate test for this car. All right, maybe it's not bad. It's kind of like a wrecking ball. It just kind of goes through everything. Hey, remember how I said this thing? Oh, and the Lamborghini, what, what, what? He wrecked into that car and then he just cheated and warped in front. <laughs> what's, what's that rhino doing? He's just having a casual stroll. Oh my God, oh my God. Well, you, you see what I mean about the horsepower thing? It's it's pretty fast when it gets go. Oh, ain't damn it. Ah. All right, that was a good move, cop. And that, now you've ruined my race. If it wasn't for the cops ruining my race and spinning me out when... I'm actually doing kind of decent. I, I would have had an okay race there. I was like 
battling for second. Okay, go, go, gadget horsepower. We're about to outrun a helicopter. 180 miles an hour. That's 200 miles an hour. Keep going. Keep going. We're outrunning. See, this is the good part of this car. It can just run it. Rhino, no. No. If I crash into this rhino, I'm done. Where is he? Where's the rhino? Okay. I'll take it. And the horsepower takes another victim. Goodbye, cops. Oh. Okay. I, I think we've successfully figured out, though, one of the best ways or one of the easiest ways to get rid of the cops. I mean, it's not the best race car, but it is pretty fun to run away from cops in. Panamera, wrap it up. Oh, not a bad car. I mean, it's actually really, really good from running from cops just because it's so, so mega quick. It's just got silly amounts of horsepower and can kind of act like a wrecking ball because it's heavy. Imagine if I had all the ultimate plus parts. How insanely OP this thing would be at running from cops. And I mean, hey, it sounds pretty good as well.